What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? We're out here catching some redfish today, and I wanted to share a quick trick with you guys about an adjustment to your retrieve that you can make that's gonna help you catch a lot more fish when using paddle tails in the fall and winter. Now, a really big thing I wanna preface this with is fish biology. Now, as we get into some of these colder months, what's gonna happen is these fish's metabolism is going to drop. In the spring and summer, that really hot temperature really fires them up. They have to eat more. Their calories are way high. So they're around, they're searching, they're hunting. They've got a lot more energy. But as we get into the fall and winter, that energy level goes down. Those fish aren't moving around as much. They're definitely not willing to chase bait down long distances. So what we're gonna do is adjust our retrieve to that pattern. So in the spring and summer, what happens is we've got you know those really good constant retrieves that we can work over those potholes. And those fish are willing to charge out of them, go after that paddle tail and chase it down really well. But what's gonna happen now is these fish, again, are also looking for some stable temperatures. And one of the number one places that I find them at is depth changes. So for example, we're fishing this shoreline right here. There's a really shallow bar. You guys might be able to see it along the shoreline. And it drops off just a few feet. And a lot of these fish that we're finding today are hanging on that depth change. So my presentation is now, instead of a horizontal constant retrieve, it's now instead a slower roll with more pauses mixed in. And in fact, I'll actually mix in some jigging because again, we want to give a little bit more of a vertical presentation to these fish that are hanging on the depth change instead of a horizontal one. A few feet really can make a difference in where your bait is traveling through that water column. So being able to make that vertical presentation with a couple pops or pauses that's going to allow your bait to change depth columns is really important. So now my retrieve is going to look a little something like this as you guys saw in the last video. Real slow and I'm going to mix in some real good pauses there and every once in a while put a couple pops in there. What that do is going to bring that paddle tail up. If there's some trout in the area, they're going to see that paddle tail coming up. And as soon as it comes down, those trout, again, they feed from below. Their jaw hinges upward. We've seen this in the underwater footage. Really easy for them to hop on that bait. These red fish have decreased energy levels, as I've seen in the fall. So again, slowing that down is really important, mixing those pauses in to get onto those fish. It's been working out really well, but you want to make sure that you're slowing things down and you're giving a little bit more focus to that vertical presentation. So really the big key here is slow it down and start to work in the strike zone a little bit more on those depth changes as you get to these cold water zones and you're going to find yourself picking up a lot more fish. Now we do have a lot more strategies for fishing in the fall and winter and if you guys want to see those I definitely recommend you check out our Inshore Fishing Mastery 101 where we have a full module on fall and winter fishing and I do recommend you join us in the Insider Club. If you're not already an insider we've got a lot of great information in there so hope you guys enjoyed this tip and if you want to see more awesome fishing information definitely join us at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong just know that we're the best online fishing club in America. If you're trying to catch more redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder. There's really nothing else like it, and we back all of this up with our premium education, our private insider community, and discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle that you're going to need. So we hope to see you in the Insider Club family soon, and thanks again for watching.